On last week's video, we got this beautiful polyurea floor coating put down here in our garage. I absolutely love the way that it looks. Every time I come in here, it just puts a big smile on my face. This is the first time Jeremy let us wear shoes on it. It's been a little weird. You know me and my OCD. I didn't want anyone dirtying up our new floor. The garage right. floor. <laughs> anyway, now that we have that done, all of our drywall is up. All of that has been painted. There is nothing impeding or finally getting around to building some the stairs. The elevator. Some stairs. An elevator. Here in Gabby, the addition build. Um, this is a long time coming. We're kind of tired of going up and down the ladder that we've been using. So getting these stairs put in is going to be so nice. Yeah. Okay, so DIY stairway builds are complex. Somewhat complicated. Much more complicated than just building a wall or something like that. There's a lot to think about, really a lot that can go wrong. Between the two of us, Melissa and I have only built one set of stairs and that's the stairway leading up to our loft over in the shop. We made a video on that, built those two or three years ago now. They're still standing. We use it all the time, it gets the job done, so I guess that's a confidence booster. Really today is just about taking our time, being very mindful of what it is that we're doing as we uh, build these stairs. Pray for us, cross your fingers that things work out favorably. I really can't wait to see how this turns out. All right, I think we are officially ready to start planning out those stringers. So we took a total rise measurement from here in the garage up to the landing. We also needed to account for the height of the flooring that we're going to be using on that landing. It gave us a total measurement of 112.5 inches. So we're going to plug that measurement into the handy dandy stair calculator that you can find online. And that takes all the guesswork out of it. It's going to give us a rise, run, and height for each step. And we can finally start cutting out the stringers. Stringer piece right there. For the sake of marking our layout on our stairway stringer, we went ahead and took our framing square, got it clamped to this very straight two by six. This will allow for us to calculate the proper rise and run, nine and some change, seven and some change. This two by six is gonna rest against the stringer. We can slide it and make all of our marks where it is we need to be cutting out uh, as we work our way down the board. Really convenient little tool here. So big shout out to the guys at This Old House, that old TV show, so that's where I saw this. Okay, our layout is marked here on our first two by 12 stringer. I'm a little confused with the diagram that our stair stairway calculator gave me. So I think I'm gonna cut this a little long to begin with. I think it's gonna end up being long. We'll cut it long rather than committing and cutting it too short because this is really expensive lumber. So we're gonna cut this first one out. If this works out, once we get it figured out, we will use this first piece as our template, mark all the other stringers so that they match up as closely as possible. So we have a nice even tread working our way up the stairs. Made the first cuts here on the first stringer and it looks like stairs. I'm thinking I did this right. Um, like I said, we might be a little long, so we might have to correct that. But uh, we're cleaning up our cuts with this hand saw because the circular saw <coughs> doesn't get all the way through. So, unfortunate uh, <coughs> sawdust. Were you eating sawdust? <coughs> <laughs> unfortunate step in the process, but it has to be done to clean things up, so. Do you want me to get you a mask? <coughs> it's just one little nugget in my throat. <coughs> Fiber. Fiber, that's what I meant to say. Not a nugget, that sounds gross. <laughs> All right, three more left. Can we do it by dinner time? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> there was no enthusiasm for me. <laughs> In my head, I may not know. What I feel down in my soul With my eyes I may not see The fire that burns inside of me Stand strong Hold on to hope Grab on, don't ever let it go. When your back's against the wall, you're not alone. Here now I have been set free. Fear has got no grip on me. Okay, all of our stringers have been cut. They turned out great, They're very uniform, happy with the end result. We are gonna be attaching these 
to the landing up top there. With the style of stair that we are going with, um, we're gonna have some end caps on either end, both ends of the staircase. That'll kind of help to funnel all of the dirt, grime, mess that we're gonna generate and keep it to where we can just vacuum or sweep all of that up. Also, we're not gonna be attaching any portion of these stairs to my beautiful new coated concrete floor. For one, because I don't want to, also they will remain secure because we have something to attach to. We're gonna be screwing one end into the studs for the wall and then we also have this post and uh, another ledger board up top near the landing. So everything should be nice, neat, very tight and very secure. We got the first two stringers set and Jeremy's going to continue attaching the second one to that end cap stringer that is already attached to the studs through the drywall. So one question that may come in that we just want to address early is why we're not using treated lumber because normally if you're building on a slab, you would use treated lumber because moisture comes up through a slab. But with this flooring that we had put in last week, we won't have any moisture coming up through so we can actually use untreated lumber. So that is why. I am going to go cook dinner. Our usual story, I've got to go in, take care of the kids. Jeremy's going to stay out here, finish attaching that stringer, and then get all the brackets set so we can just start setting stringers tomorrow and hopefully get maybe the rise and the tread set, the, the riser. And so, the, oh, I'd love to get this wrapped up tomorrow. That'd be nice. I would be really nice. All right, I'm going in. Today is an absolutely gorgeous day. So before we get other work done, we are going to do a little garden prep and a little bit of planting. It's getting to be that time. It is still way too early in the year, not way too early, but too early in the year to plant tender greens or vine fruits or squash or anything like that. It is still freezing regularly overnight. So we do need to wait until all of the snow is off the top of the mountain peak before we even think about planting. So this is gonna be our third garden. We're gonna get all of our seeds started and in our little greenhouse. But first we need to get all of our potatoes planted because it is definitely time to get those in the ground. All right, potatoes are in the ground. We are going to wait on everything else because we still have a lot of cleanup to do and a lot of weeding to do before we get the whole garden planted, but we are going to get all of our seeds started today. Kale. I love kale. Makes me feel like a dinosaur. Garden. That's this year's garden. Make it something That's it? Yep. We, we will watch it explode. We got greens. Good job. Get your work is never finished and it's okay. never past. Gently your voice like a calming rain calls me from out of the noise. You whisper to me, child, forget not to dream. This we lie away. It is lunchtime, so of course I am ducking in here really quickly to get our go-to factor meal so we can get a complete hot lunch and get back out. Over the past two years, Factor has provided our family with fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals that are delivered right here to our door. So we can go from absolutely starving to eating a complete hot meal in as little as two minutes with no prep, no mess, and no cleanup. With Factor, there's something for every lifestyle or taste preference because Factor offers keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and protein plus options, and Factor never gets boring. They offer 35 chef prepared and dietitian approved weekly options. So there is always something new to try. And you can round out your meals with their assortment of over 60 nutrition packed add-ons. Summer is coming up quick, which is the perfect time to get your nutrition on track. And with warmer days ahead, none of us wanna be stuck in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. So whether you are looking to save trips to the grocery store like me, maybe you wanna save on takeout at work, or maybe you wanna take all of the guesswork out of clean eating, definitely give Factor a try. 
Just head to factor75.com or click the link down below and use our code GoodSimpleLiving50 to get 50% off your first factor box plus 20% off your next factor box. That's code GoodSimpleLiving50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. I went to go get cleaned up and Jeremy didn't bother getting cleaned up and he already got back to work. So he's already got the other end cap up. Why are you no way for me? Sorry. <laughs> I swear it's getting colder. It's colder inside. It was so warm and sunny outside. But when you work in the garage and it's all insulated, it's like, I swear it's 20 degrees colder in here. You like it? I love it. That's good because I'm not redoing it. Can we just turn it into a slide? <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking about it. Gummy sack slide. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm totally over engineering these stairs. I realize that, but I'm trying to make them as strong as I possibly can. Now that we have our two outside stair stringers up, those caps are also attached, very solid. We're going to be setting two additional stringers here in the middle. I'm cutting away all this drywall so that we can properly attach these uh, brackets, these hangers that we have for those stringers. So we'll get all this cleared out, install those brackets, and then the last two stringers will be going up. You felt a little bench. It's like shop class all over again. Mama said life was like a box of chocolates. Okay, I'm cutting more. <laughs> Is this the number nine bus? No, it's the number four. All right, it is starting to look like a staircase. We are nice. starting to run out of room on risers. Jeremy can't reach anymore. I mean, he's very tall. Is that a short jump? Very tall, but he can't reach. So we're going to cut out, he's going to cut out some of the treads, and then we're just gonna work our way up. Maybe every four or five steps, we'll stop and then we'll alternate. So now that we have four steps completed, you can see why it is that we wanted to do these uh, end caps. There's a term for this style of stairway, I don't know what it is, but we didn't want the profile of the stringers to show, the steps to show. Um, so this just caps it off really nice. It's kind of a modern look, yeah, you think? Yeah, it kind of looks like something that'd be in the Brady Bunch house. So 1970s? Yeah. Not modern at all. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though, it's turning out nice. And then if you come around the corner, you can see the, uh, the end of each tread, which Honestly, it bugs me a little bit. I wish the whole thing was just capped off, but it works either way. I'm happy with it. So let's continue on, work our way up.
Jeremy is installing the last riser and then all we have left is one last tread. The last tread is going to be cut a little bit longer because it's actually going to go over the end caps up at the top. And then we may need to plane it down because we want it just slightly above the platform that's already up there because we're going to be doing flooring and then a transition and then starting the first step. So we just need it slightly above about the width of our flooring actually. So once he gets that done, we are done with our staircase. We have actually opted to hold off on the railing for now because the stairs are four feet wide they do go up a wall and I think we can just be careful while we're doing the build before anyone moves in there we will be putting a railing up but I think it'll be easier getting appliances and a couch and a piano and everything else up there to not have the railing in yet we also are a little undecided on the railing we were kind of thinking doing a wood handrail and wood post and then a black cable system we have a couple other ideas we could just go with a traditional wood or metal there's a few other options but we really like the look of that cable system I think it would tie in nicely with the windows last piece holy cow I'm exhausted Whew. We kept moving forward this week and finally finished the project that was a long time coming. We also planted the first of the garden, and it's that time of the year that holds so much promise. We are still finding our new normal without the snuffles of our old friend. But the warmth of these spring days is such a beautiful reminder that no matter the rain, the sunshine will always return. Thanks, buddy. It's great.